Hello, hello, you guys. How is everybody? Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tina and I am a psychic medium. Um, I'm getting ready to set up the famous paranormal flashlight. Um, I think spirit has a hold of it. Ah, I do not have it correct, do I? Okay. All right. You've got it. You've got it. All right. The light's set up. <clears throat> the flashlight will either come on or off. Um, if it so chooses, it's controlled by my spirit guides <clears throat> and some of the spirit guides for the collective. This reading, this is a general reading for Leo. Whoa. As soon as I said Leo, they started jumping out. All right. Um, I have a, uh, dog behind me on the chair. Welcome to Animal House. This reading will not resonate with every Leo. It can't quite possibly. I mean, really, really think about it. If you're following a tarot reader and they're leading you to believe that this is covering everybody. No, no, no. Um, and I do suggest you watch other readers. Um, just go to the search bar, type in your horoscope sign and tarot. And check some other readers out. See, uh, you know what? I even follow a variety of people. It's, um, it's interesting and you learn something from everybody. Even if that reading doesn't apply to you, you're still going to learn something. All right, Leo, can I have some more jumper spirit? Let me know if we're on the right path here for Leo. Looking like something good's beginning to happen for Leo. All right, no jumpers, so we will deal. <clears throat> wow, Leo, you're dealing with something legal. I can see it, I can see it. Um, or you could be dealing with something legal. The two jumpers that came out when I first mentioned Leo were the King of Swords, and it was in reverse, and the Knight of Cups, and he also was in reverse. Now, this is your past energy, Leo. They were both in reverse. Let's turn him over to get a good feel for him. Dude or girl or both. Um, you had to world by the ass for a minute. Actually, for a little bit. Things were going your way. You had a certain amount of success. You had some financial... Um, independence and things were really going your way. Um, however, that's all in the past. You used to be somebody that would say something to kind of help guide people. Um, now you have a tendency to be, uh, and I feel like you're in some kind of combative connection here. Um, now you say things just to hurt. That's what that sword is cuts like a knife. Um, <clears throat> we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Now, you're up in your head too much, too. Um, <clears throat> Spirit, anytime you want to <laughs> chime in on that light, let me know. Um, you're way up in your head too much thinking about the direction that you have taken. It's pulled you away from a lot of stuff in your life. Um, you feel like you're trapped now. Uh, Leo, you've got the ever famous
Eight of Swords. Um, you're a little bit bruised, you're hurt, and you feel trapped. Like you're in a situation you can't get out of. Don't know how to break it off, don't know how to break it up. Um, this could be a love interest or it could be just somebody, it could be just a family member. You know, you really feel like your hands are tied. How do you step away from this person and their negativity? We have the high priestess in reverse. Um, you have not been following your intuition. You've not been following your gut. You've kind of been following your heart. Um, not a bad thing, but it hasn't got you where you wanted. You know, for a minute, you thought this was what you wanted. Um, you made a decision, and that's what this card is, kind of about it, like a decision that you made. Um, however, the Hierophant came up upside down, so you're, you know what, you feel like you made the wrong decision. You feel like you're cutting, you are cutting someone out of your life or you did cut someone out of your life that you feel really was a better fit. <clears throat> now, you have the hangman. Uh, the hangman often means somebody that's kind of stagnant and stuck in one spot. Uh, it often can mean, and it with my intuition, it picks up commonly that be careful, you might get a ticket. Okay. The hangman does not get hung until he gets caught doing something wrong, uh, is tried and convicted. And I often pick this up around people different times of the year. It often feels like a DUI. So if you are driving um, inebriated, please get a designated driver. Do not drive. You're Be expecting um, a traffic ticket. So that means watch your speed. Uh, make sure you're using your turn signals. Do everything you need to do uh, in order to avoid being picked up. <clears throat> we also have the lover's card that comes up for you. This connection, and it doesn't necessarily have to mean um, a love interest. This also can be, you know, just a partnership. Um, it can just be a relationship with Jesus, a, a very dear, dear friend. Um, it often can be kind of a soulmate connection. And sometimes they're brought into our life to uh, teach us lessons. They are brought into our life to beat us up. Uh, literally to help get us to step away from something negative again and back into the, the light. Um, Leo, you do also have the page wands that came up for you. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know, you've, you've got some negative energy that's kind of hanging around a little bit. You need to meditate, um, pray, ask for guidance, uh, call in your guardian angels, whatever you need to do, but there is an opportunity that's going to be coming to you. Um, the page is also can be, or excuse me, the page of wands can also mean a little bit of communication that's getting ready to come through to you. Um, this may be somebody you haven't heard from in a while, and they may be getting a hold of you because they owe you some money. Yeah, fat chance, right? Um, they may be getting a hold of you because there is an opportunity. Um, there is, there is money connected here. This, this knight of pinnacles is, he moves, you notice the horse isn't even moving, just kind of standing there waiting, um, looking for the right time. All right, let me get a couple clarifiers for Leo.
What is the best advice and clarification for Leo? <clears throat> Spirit, can I get any jumpers are welcome to come out. I need the best advice and clarification for, aha, there you go. Ooh, 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 get that one out of there for Leo. Ooh, there we go. And I need one more. Spirit, can I have another jumper, please? Clarification and advice for Leo. You're meant to come out. Please jump. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, on this one is I'm going to use the energy off the bottom of the deck. Um, we have the Nine of Wands. Man, you have been through some crap. Um, You're the wounded warrior in this picture. You know, you've already, you're done fighting. You're tired of it. Um, wanting to move forward. You're wanting a little more peace. You're wanting a little more tranquility. You're, you're kind of, you're really um, ruminating on the fact that you would love to have the life you used to have. You kind of stepped away from something, uh, hoping for something better. Kind of shows up in the cards. Um, that's what that Knight of Cups was kind of all about also. Uh, you left to go into something better and it just didn't materialize for you. But Leo, <clears throat> things are beginning to turn around. Um, you, we have the Three of Cups. It came up in reverse when it fell on the table. It is... The three actually indicates there were choices you needed to make and somehow you made the wrong one. There were two other people in your life and they weren't getting along. There may have been relatives and squabbling and you cut one out um, or perhaps you kept the one around. Not the right one, whether it, on the family issue, um, you kind of wish you held, held your allegiance with the other one and didn't disconnect from them. Um, however, Leo, I always like to leave my, I got an itchy nose this morning. There is opportunity coming. That is the Ace of Cups. You just kind of need to separate yourself from the energy that's around you right now. Somebody's kind of negative and that's bringing you down. It, 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 it's tearing you apart daily. Um, this association with this person, um, could be the um, person that you may have thought was a soulmate or a twin flame. Sometimes they come into our life to disrupt. Of course, that was upside down, I believe. I do believe. Um, they can come into our lives to disrupt and create havoc. Sometimes they come in just to allow us to complete a cycle and move forward. All right, Leo, um, we didn't get any um, validation from the light. At least I didn't see any here in the uh, monitor. But that is your reading, Leo. Um, if it resonated, drop down, like, subscribe, and share. If it did not resonate, stop back because I update frequently. Also, down in the description box, you will find a link to my uh, Facebook, to my Twitter. Please follow me and uh, stop back. And I never leave you guys that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.